Colon cancer is a growth that uh, develops in the colon. It generally starts from a polyp and takes about 10 years from the polyp starting to the time it turns into cancer. Colon cancer is the third most common form of cancer in, in the U.S. Colon cancer is preventable by screening, by identifying polyps before they have the opportunity to become malignant. The colonoscopy examination is the only test that can not only diagnose colon cancer, but prevent colon cancer altogether. So if you get a colonoscopy and have the polyps removed before they can turn into cancer, it's a cancer you can completely prevent. Colon cancer can affect anyone uh, from men to women. It doesn't matter uh, what gender, it doesn't matter um, what race, um, and we're starting to see colon cancer at younger ages also. There's about 150,000 uh, diagnosed every year in the United States and 40 to 50,000 die every year from it. I've had friends, family, and patients say, well, since I'm not having symptoms, there's no reason to have a colonoscopy examination. And that's simply not true. Someone's not gonna be aware that they've got a polyp or, or a lesion uh, unless you do the examination to identify that. With it taking 10 years to develop uh, on the average, if you get a colonoscopy done to remove the polyps before they can turn into cancer, it's a cancer that can be completely prevented. Anyone that is 50 or older, with or without a family history, needs a colonoscopy done. Now the American Cancer Society has just uh, changed the screening age from 50 to 45. The best screening that we've identified is colonoscopy, so we recommend that to our patients for colon cancer screening. Patients often come in and ask, well, I don't really, do I really need to have colon screening? Uh, I've got no symptoms, I have no bleeding, I have no trouble with my bowels, I have no abdominal pain, I have no family history of colon cancer. And unfortunately, the most common symptom of early colon cancer or polyps is, uh, would be no symptoms at all. I have a relative in Columbus, Ohio, who is, uh, being treated at this time for a stage three colon cancer. So uh, colon cancer has affected me personally. Yeah, I am unfortunately lost my father to colon cancer. I had uh, just started uh, practice about two years into it and that's when flexible sigmoidoscopies were the recommended test of choice. And then that's when colonoscopy was being recommended. So I finally encouraged him to get his colonoscopy done they had traveled to uh, Turkey, that's where they're from, and uh, he promised me that he was going to have it done when he got back, but over there he became ill, came to the United States and had uh, metastatic colon cancer and died four months later. When I was attending the Florida gastrointestinal meeting in Tampa in, in uh, the following year, about 10 months later, uh, my wife and I uh, like to visit the uh, bush gardens and see the exhibits, and, and I liked, I, at the time I liked to ride the roller coasters. I, maybe did over an indulgence of that, and later that night I had rectal bleeding for the first time ever. Within a week uh, of that, uh, I had my colonoscopy and, I was, and was, uh, was diagnosed with colon cancer. 